Welcome back, geometers. You know what time it is. It is time to do some more constructions. So these constructions are going to be super fun. We're going to learn how to copy a triangle three different ways. We're going to use SSS, SAS, and ASA. Now these constructions are actually super easy because if you think about it, all you need to know is how to copy a segment. That's copying a side. That's the easiest construction of all. And then you also need to know how to copy an angle, which is also pretty simple. So let's go through them right now. Okay, so don't forget your tools. Protractor or a straight edge. Compass. And again, I like to use colored pens. Um, I suggest you use colored pencils. Do not use pen, please. Okay, so the first construction we're going to do is we're given a triangle, triangle ABC, and we want to copy this triangle using SSS. Okay, so be careful. You have to make sure that you show all the necessary um, arc marks and leave the arcs on there. Okay, so here we go. So to copy um, a triangle using SSS, first we're just going to copy one side. Let's go ahead and just copy this side that's on the bottom. So to copy a side, all you have to do is just start with this ray. Okay, this point is going to correspond to vertex A. So I can call it A prime. I don't have to. I mean, I could call this JKL or whatever. Just follow the instructions, whatever the worksheet or the test tells you to do. Okay, but I'm just going to call this A prime so you guys can tell that it corresponds to A. Okay, so how do I copy a segment? Super easy. It just takes me a while with this bow compass because I have to turn the dial. Okay, but I just put my compass on A and open up the pencil part to C. Now this part is really important. Make sure you strike an arc on the original. Okay, that arc has to be there um, for you to earn points. Okay. Then I just strike that same arc down here and this corresponds to vertex C. So I'll call it C prime. So now I wanna know I'm going to just go ahead and go to this side next. So all I have to do is just open up my compass from C and open it up to point B. And again, make sure you strike an arc on the original. And then I do the same thing up here, but I don't know how long. I'm just going to make it really long because I don't know where exactly on that arc point B is going to be. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to chop off that arc from A to B. So I simply open up my compass from A to B. And I strike an arc there. So notice that I have one, two, three arcs on my original. Then I strike that same arc up here. And that's my third vertex. That is point B. Then I just connect the dots, make sure I label it, and I'm done. That's how you copy a triangle using SSS. Super simple. Now, make sure that you do not erase these arcs. I've had a couple students over the years that thought, oh, I'll make this nice and pretty and I'll erase the arcs. Well, they are literally erasing their points from the worksheet, the homework, or the test. So always leave those arcs. That's what you're getting graded on. Now, what if your triangle doesn't turn out exactly perfect. What if the paper slipped a little bit or your compass, the leg opened up a little bit? What if your tr two triangles, the image and the pre-image don't look exactly the same? Well, that is okay as long as you have all six of these arcs in the right place. As long as you have those arcs, that is what you're being graded on. We do not expect perfection, but we do grade you on the arcs being there. Okay, now let's go to SAS. With SAS, it's the same kind of thing. You're going to be given a side, an angle, and a side, or you could just be given a triangle. Okay, so in this case, I'm just going to draw an actual triangle. And this time, let's call it something else. Let's call it JKL. 
and we want to copy this triangle using SAS, okay? So I'm going to use this side, then this angle, then this side, okay? So the angle is the included angle, okay? That's just the way, like, I'm right-handed, so it's just easier for me to do it that way. I could also do this side, this angle, and then this side, okay? Uh, but either way, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to start off with a ray that's a little bit longer than what I think it needs to be. So I'm going to copy this side on the bottom. Okay, make sure you show an arc on the original. It's really important for points. And then there's my arc over there. I'm just going to call this J prime, L prime. And now I want to get to K, but what I'm doing is SAS, okay? So I can either, because this is the side I chose, this is an included, included angle if I want to go this way, or I can use this angle if I want to go that way. I'm just going to use this and go that way. So now how do we copy an angle? Well, to copy an angle, what you need to do is open up your compass to a medium setting. It doesn't matter exactly how big. Okay, just some kind of medium setting and make an arc. Okay, on the original. Okay, transcribe that same arc over here. Now what you wanna do is open up your compass from the intersection point to the intersection point. Make sure you strike an arc there so I can see. Strike that same arc here. So now I'm just going to copy this angle and I'm just going to extend this further than I think I need to. Okay, so I'm just going to go really long. Okay. So now I have S and I have A. Now all I need to do is just measure how big this side is using my compass. Okay. So that's my other side. And that's my SAS. Strike an arc, and then I'm just sort of chopping off this really long side to the correct side line. Connect the dots. And there you have it, SAS. All right, the last construction we're gonna do today is ASA. Again, you're gonna be given a triangle. Let's call it triangle T, U, V. Okay, and your job is to construct a triangle that's congruent to this using ASA. So to use ASA, I'm gonna copy this angle, use this included side, and go to this angle. I don't have to do it that way. But that's just the easiest way for me because it's on the bottom and my wrist is here so just it doesn't smudge as much okay so to copy an angle i open up my compass to some medium setting okay, and i'm copying angle t and i need a ray down here so this is going to be vertex T, so I'm just going to call that T prime. So I've struck an arc there, and I'm going to strike an arc over here. Okay, this arc corresponds to that arc. Then I go ahead and open up my compass from intersection point to intersection point and strike an arc on the original. And I transcribe that same arc over here on my image. And now I've copied an angle. So I'm going to make this a little bit longer than it needs to be. Okay. So I've copied one angle. Okay. Now I'm going to copy this side and then this angle. So this side right here, okay, is the easiest construction of all. It is just a segment copy. Okay. So this is going to take me a while because, again, I'm using a bow compass. Those of you that have other compasses, you can just open up the legs just kind of pull it but 
I can't do that with this compass. Okay, make sure that you strike an arc on the original, super important, and transcribe that same arc right over here onto your image. So at this point, now I've cut this ray off to the correct length, okay, and this is now V prime. So now what I need to do is I just need to copy this angle. So open up your compass to some medium setting and strike an arc on the original right here. Okay, transcribe that same arc over here onto the image. Okay, then go to this, and I made this really small. But go ahead and go to the original. And strike an arc right there. And then strike that same arc right here. Boom. Just like magic, all you have to do is connect these two dots, and there's my triangle. Ooh, slid a little bit. That's okay. Like a little minor mistake like that won't cost you any points. Okay? What happened was, as I was drawing this, my straight edge slipped a little bit. Okay? I don't have to go and redo this. Okay, this is perfectly fine. Okay. So now, what am I grading you on? Arc, 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 arc. I sound like a sound like a sea lion or something. But anyways, that is ASA. Those are your three triangle constructions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not sure about anything, remember you can always go to mathopenreference.com, go to constructions, and these are labeled in there. Thanks, guys.